Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Otto and I am back in my Pathfinder Kingmaker game. <clears throat> we are in the uh, fortress, we kill a lot of trolls and some kobold and last time we also killed some spiders. A bit overpowered for this guys. There is a door. Normally I just want to clear passages before opening new doors. Because every door you open really the difficulty is a 21. Okay, let's try it again. Yay. And another 66. That's good. Ah, I can remember. There is something. <laughs> Kobold shaman clad in long flowing robes swaggers back and forth before the gathered the trolls and kobolds. His posture is proud, strict, and imbued with dignity. Orber words. Listen closely and speak after. Speak. A kobold student echoes shredded and snorts in what might be a laugh. The shaman stares at the student for a while, hissing word wordlessly, then turns to the others. Eat. Gulp. Eat. Eat. Borba. Meat. Meat. Borba. Meat. The shaman turns and sees you. His eyes go wide and he points his fingers at you. Dur Boba, kill meat. <laughs> kill meat. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Kill a teacher. We really don't like teachers. Yeah, let them come. We probably should go a few feet. Really? Okay, um, let's delay after you. Five footsteps back there, and then let's just kill the troll. This was easy. You take a five foot step like here. And kill the stupid teacher. 
Did we kill him? Yep. Now, really, you're too big. Okay, you'll have to delay behind you. We lost. Juvenal's has to go out of the way as well. Like throw a bomb. So how about now? Of Boston. Okay, uh, I mean, this is really ridiculous. We are, we are so much stronger than they are. Hmm. We didn't hit them. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can die. Who kills the troll? Because he's... Oh, probably not. Yeah, he kills the troll. Okay. Really? It didn't hit him too bad. Amiri! You really could have hit. Okay. This guy's second. He won't hit anyway. Oh, he can die or you are such a monster. Stupid to be lost. Hmm. 
Okay. Come on, Valerie, on your way. Hello. A level 5 rogue. That's rather strong. For a pupil. No. Why did you take everything? What's that? Fairy Tales of Avistan. What is it? The Real Freedom. Uh, this shows us that we are... That we are not good people. <laughs> because uh, we are not living after the river rules. So let's see. The trolls have not been kind to these strange statues. Their purpose remains unknown. The trolls have not. Uh, okay. So if we move nearer, the moon shows the fish and the sun shows the S. So we'll have to move this something interesting collect all we are so brutal we are so ah oh, let's let's save the game yeah just save it Ooh, an unidentified helmet. A headband of inspired wisdom plus two. Fancy. Harim, do you have a headband? No. You get headband. That for you. <clears throat> so 
What's that? Uh, for some reason, the trolls haven't broken this piece of bomb art. Interesting. Do we see something on it? Nope. So we need the fish on the moon side and the S on the sun side. Should we do this right now? I'm not sure. Just a few. <laughs> he explodes. Come on. What's the rage? Just because we can. Kill. Interesting. Why doesn't this go away? Because we're still in the, how's it called? The surprise round. Oh, there is another one. Where does he come from? He just appeared. <laughs> Interesting. No master work. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah, we rolled a one. Sometimes this happens. Uh, can't do anything about that. There's a door. And he's walking outside. Haha. -ha. We've done it. Let's go upstairs here. And do the, I think this is the sun side. Just leave. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Normally we should be faster to go from the inside, but um, yeah. So is this the moon? Yeah, that's the moon. Yeah, it's the moon, and we need the fish. There it is. Good. Well done. 
Let's move down again. Give me a so no. Just leave. <laughs> My computer is so um what's it called? Uh overwhelmed. <laughs> Why is he so slow? Just because I'm running the ODS OPS. Yay, here's the dog. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 So, what was the sun's side? I think it was the S. I hope it was the S. Oh, we have the S here. Wait, what? Okay. We're fine. We know what we do. I hope so at least. Come on, just enter. Hello. Oh, come on. Really? Really, you can't enter anymore. Really? Okay, let's see if something happened in this room. Should have watched, looked at the room before. Didn't know that we uh, had this. By accident, right? happened inside here. I'm not sure, probably just opened something that wasn't opened before. Ah, look, there is something. A full plate and 2,000 gold pieces. Interesting. Full plate. Which kind of full plate was this? Something for you? No? Blast path. This plus two full plate can only be equipped by good characters. Aw, oh, come on. It grants its wearer plus two enhancement bonus to wisdom and charisma. What? 
what? And a plus four sacred bonus on, on saving throws against compulsion effects. If equipped by a paladin, it also gives her the ability to use smite evil two more times per day. Oh, this is a really, really great armor. But Valerie is not a paladin. And she's not good. I mean, she's just lawful neutral. This is really... <laughs> This is stupid. Such a great armor and we won't be able to use it. So, should we open this first or... Let's just, I mean, I think this is where we meet the boss. So let's just move there because there is something. There is a door in here. Need key. Yeah, well done. Why don't we have the key? So, no. We won't get in there as well. Pretty sure about that. Then we need the key as well. Okay. So probably here comes the the bot monster, which will be um, Tartuk and. Um, Pavulka. Pavulka. Okay. Mm. Troll hound and troll. Why are you so stupid? A possible to run there. Yeah. This. Let's just kill him. That's nice.
Okay. There are no trolls or kobolds around. This troll treasury reminds you of a city dump. Broken tables, smashed cupboards, doors ripped from their hinges, all taken from raids on human villages. Okay. Well, it's probably. Yay, another Dwarven Helmet chart. How many do we have already? One, two, three, four, five. Not too many, I fear. More treasure. Hey, the second half of the of the commandant's journal. We will read this and then we will stop for today. The um second half. This term has no beginning, and most pages are missing. Its high-quality parchment is stained so thickly you can barely read it. Serenith, 4499. Rostland is in flames. The barbarians brought some dragons along. Instead of traitors, there are crowds of hungry, tattered, wounded refugees moving along the shield road. Thanks to us, they can at least be safe from the bandits. But they can't go on like this any longer. All three clans are utterly bankrupt, utter bankrupts now. We are still here only because no one wants to lose face and leave third. News arrived from the Silver Shield Fortress. Moradashes are leaving. Everyone curses them, but I'm secretly grateful. They are covered. Uh, they covered themselves in shame but let the others keep face. Some try to look bold and claim Skiegis and Langbox will manage without them, but everyone knows this is just empty bravado. This is the end of the Shield Road. Toravash, 4499. We are gathering our possessions and get ready to seal the fortress. For a long, long time, for centuries, or even for millennia, until the day our descendants will come back claim what belongs to them. We must leave a lot behind. Well, at least we can properly use all these secret rooms. It's especially sad to leave the searing palm. There's no second furnace like this in the whole river kingdoms. It wouldn't be a shame to offer Torak himself to work with it. So many enchanted arrows, swords, axes we have created in this furnace. So many trolls were eliminated by that enchanted burning steel. Alas, we can't take the furnace with us. We can only hope some trespassers won't find this fortress, and even if they do, they won't be able to get inside. We'll also have to have 
have to leave behind the treasure hidden in the pallet in the place near the watchtower. It can only be opened by representatives of all three clans together when they unite their keys, and Waratashes took theirs with them when they left. Well, they had every right to do it. The last secret room was sealed by old Ol's master of complex mechanisms. He didn't even tell me how this machinery works, just smirked like a madman and mumbled something about the sun that meets guests of deep and the moon that faces the sky furnace. Lamashan 4499. We are leaving the fortress. It had been guarded by three generations of our ancestors for 300 years. We are walking back the road paved by our great grandfathers, the road we did we dedicated our lives to. Field Road has become the road of shame to us. Not everyone succumbed to disgrace. A few desperados called themselves the last shields and took an oath to defend the road until their last breath. They are the ones who harbor the very spirit of the dwarves. King Talric had sh had strived to restore. Those are the best among us. Too bad they will have to die along in the wilderness. The young Vark is one of them. He declined blank to leave his post at the watchtower. I left Langbuck's key to him. He, we hardly have anyone more worthy to keep it. Old Augen Skiege stays with him, claiming he would better die as an old stubborn head than as a coward. We heard about them in the uh, watchtower. I have nothing to answer to this. We've let our king and our ancestors down. Well brought field fortress. Sleep well and dream of the day that will return. Okay. We have a silver dwarven key. Why only one? I mean, I found three keys. Or did I use two of them already? Probably. Okay, my dear friends, we will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. We are now nearing the end of this dungeon. Until then, bye.